A local couple was on their way home from the airport when they saw a car spun out in front of them. Moments later, it was hit head on by a wrong way driver. Tessa DeTiro picks up the story from there. <laughs> Natasha and Todd Zimmerman bring a gift and a hug to a young woman they say changed their hearts. I'm glad I finally get to see you out of the, the damaged car. Oh, so Three weeks before, the couple ran across 275 to check on the person inside this car. We didn't see ourselves as heroes for stopping that night. We almost looked at her as inspiration because to have that kind of positivity, I mean, why wouldn't you want that to spread? Mary Catherine Otto was trapped inside. The couple was amazed to see her smile at them struggling to breathe under the mangled front end. She actually had her hand out the window and I just grabbed it and held on because I knew she'd just need a little human decency right then. She came up from no, the middle of nowhere and just held my hand and she was like, it's gonna be okay. Moved by the encounter, Natasha checked in on Mary Catherine the next day. We became fast friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was, um, daily updates. She would FaceTime me from the hospital to let me know what was going on. Days ago, Mary Catherine was released from the hospital and stood for the first time in several weeks. It gets better and things happen for a reason and God's definitely showing me what that reason is. Walking is next and she says she's going to crush the goal, motivated by the fact that she's alive with the help of strangers turned into friends. And even Todd said the other day, uh, uh, I think we might have an, another kid now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christmas list just got longer. Yeah. In Hebron, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Mm, well, that couple says that a doctor and nurse both stopped by to check Mary Catherine's vitals at the time. They didn't get their names, but they want to thank them as well for the help.